morning gorgeous people welcome back for another weekly vlog um i am up and at them i'm up and at them today because i'm trying to get into a bit of a routine it's getting up getting out and going on a nice daily walk because i've noticed such a change in my mood like such a change in my mood since doing this I say we've been doing this, I literally did this yesterday for the first time. <laughs> yesterday, oh God, I was in such a better mood, like such a better mood. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna turn this into a daily thing. It's gonna be part of my daily steps to get up and at them and get off. And just, yeah, it's not like the nicest of days. It is like so foggy, like so foggy. It's really nice because where we're going, I can let the dogs off the lead and they can have like a really, really nice run. So it makes me happy seeing that. And it just makes me happy that we can actually like go out together because it's been really difficult with like me walking the dogs because when you've got them both in the lead, I literally might as well just enter strictly the way that I'm dancing around the leads all like this. So it doesn't really work. Where I'm going now, I can actually take them off the lead, which is super duper exciting. So yeah, I can let them run free. And it's nice because they, they prefer it off the lead anyway. So yeah, tangent. This has been making me feel so, so, so much better and just so happy to just get out the house for a bit because the past few days, I have been not myself I have been and I can see it in like vlogs as well like when I'm coming across I'm like oh welcome back for another video and now I'm like I am here I'm ready to go again but yeah I just haven't been feeling myself I've been feeling down all I've wanted to do is just lay in bed and just not do anything and for somebody who's like suffered with anxiety before that's really quite like a trigger for me so I knew that I had to just like snap myself out of that like front home because otherwise that would be me like for the foreseeable and I do not want that to happen. But yesterday I wrote in my gratitude journal, I wrote in my diary, I wrote out all my goals, I wrote out self love affirmations, I... Gordon Bennett lollipop lady. No worries, hun. Yes, I was writing out self love affirmations and then I got out on my walk and oh, I was just feeling so, so much better. I can't even begin to explain what a bit of self-love and a bit of just getting out in the fresh air when you've been cooped up inside. Even just open a window, even if you're in that stage that I was in, just get a window open, get a bit of fresh air into your lungs because trust me, it does like the world of good get writing out some affirmations and yeah it did oh god it helped me out so 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 much so i'm on a bit of a ascent i'm back up again i'm back up again which is fantastic because yeah i've missed this me this is me like this is who i am but obviously it's really really difficult at the minute just to not like fall into a bit of a rut with everything that's going on but snap out of it babe snapped right out of it and that is the way that it is going nice winker that is the way that it's going to stay so yeah i'm off i'm out i'm on this dog walk in the most oh my goodness the fog am i actually gonna be able to see where to walk i don't know but can you see it you can see it out of the window how foggy is that but anyway welcome back to the vlog people and I'm so happy to talk to you. It makes me so happy. So yeah, we are back in business. My mojo is back. I've been feeling so inspired and just like motivated. Like yesterday and today, I am feeling good. So I don't really know what we're gonna do in this vlog. It's just another good old lockdown. Might be a day, might be a week. Who knows what's going on vlog situation. But yeah, I just wanted to spend some time with you guys these roads don't even fit two cars on it's not okay is anybody coming around the corner i just don't know right i am going to catch up with you when we are on the dog walk because i'm worried about these roads we made it all in one piece the girlies are running free they love it because well especially pippa pippa just hangs by my side constantly because i basically i've just got a pocket of ham because if one of them runs off, I know how much they love ham. So I'll just shout them and then 
they'll come straight back for a bit of ham. It's not good. I'm like out of breath from walking already. I'm trying to like pick up a bit of a good pace today because yesterday it was still like really, really snowy. So I was just like constantly worried about falling over and slipping everywhere. But today it's pretty much all cleared up. So I'm trying to build up the pace a little bit, you know, get the heart beating, get a few calories burnt, you know, seeing as I'm just probably going to be sat on my bum again all day today. Well, I've got a bit of filming that I want to do. I want to like, I'm thinking about getting back into TikTok because it was like quite a lockdown 1.0 thing for me. And then I didn't really do anything after that. I did a video on like trying to recreate TikTok dances and that was literally about it. The rest of them are like of my dog. So where have they gone? Here they are. Um, be free. See you later. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I want to see if I can like get back into TikTok again because it's just something else to do isn't it and it's just a bit of fun like I enjoyed learning all the dances and everything but yeah very happy very glad to be out in the fresh air so hopefully I can motivate you to do it as well if you haven't already because it literally oh god it makes such a difference but yeah let's go walking puppies come on in girls gonna have to stay on because I've got mad hat hair right now so what do I actually look like I've decided I'm gonna treat myself it's Thursday today so I'm gonna have a treat self Thursday and there's a Starbucks around the corner so I'm gonna go get myself a hot chocolate with a pump of hazelnut because that is my favorite and I need to de-steam again because we are steamy That'll do, donkey. I know it's literally like just around the corner, but I'm so rubbish with directions. Like literally, even if I go on like a two minute drive around the corner, I have to have my sat nav on because I just get nervous. Yeah, it's literally 1.2 miles away and I don't want to get lost. Starting route to Starbucks. Yeah, baby. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. What can I get for you today? Hiya, can I just get a signature hot chocolate with a pump of hazelnut, please? Yeah, well, is that with the cream? Uh, yes, please. Yeah, from that large? Um, just a regular, please. A regular one, yeah. Is that everything? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, just drive around when you can, probably. Thank please. you. No! Oh, they sell the cups here. I really want one of those plastic reusable cups. I'm going to ask the girl if I can get one when I'm there. Hi, gorgeous people. We are back. It's now the next day. When I was at Starbucks yesterday, Starbucks? <laughs> when I was at Starbucks yesterday, my camera died, but got some good news. Look at that. Ooh. Literally, I got my little cup. She let me do it as we were around the window and I didn't need to drive through the drive through again, which is good. So I got my little hot chocolate and now I'm an Instagram guru with a Starbucks cup. And literally, I'm loving this Starbucks cup like so much. I don't even know why, it's just literally a plastic see-through reusable sippy cup. But I think it's just the fact of drink through a straw, like I really appreciate it. Not that I'm even going to be able to make coffee out of it because I don't like coffee. So it's not as if I'm going to have any cool iced coffees in it. But I just thought it'd be good for my smoothie, seeing as I'm trying to get on my little health kick. But I've decided I'm going to start a 28 day challenge on Monday. So that's going to be good fun. Um, just to get some like fitness back in me like it's just not good being out of breath on a dog walk so yeah that's what I did yesterday I didn't really do a lot anything other than that this morning I went out and filmed such a fun video oh my goodness I can't believe I haven't done it before it was so much fun I think it'll probably already be out but it was like a 90s playlist like Spotify music playlist video and I haven't ever done one before but it was just so much fun and now I'm in like such a banging mood and just yeah I forget because normally like I listen to music all the time like on the radio like driving to work driving back from work but now obviously I haven't been listening to it like whatsoever so I've kind of like forgotten about music and that just made me buzzing I also went to B&M 
fun times. Um, and I love seeing what people pick up from B&M and it wasn't enough to do like a full blown haul. So I thought I'd just show you in this vlog. But first things first, I picked up, God and Bennett, it's a bit too mag magnetized, is that the word? But I picked up, <laughs> you can see what you're balancing on. <laughs> My current tripod for you is some black pepper and sea salt crackers. <laughs> there you are. But it's just one of those mirrors that like makes you close up on one side and then not so close on the other side. And I just thought that would be good for like if I ever want to do like a makeup video, then I can just have that there. And also I've seen people get really bougie Instagram pictures with these and I want to try one. Like literally Instagram me up. Why can't I do a swipe up yet? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> on that note. Subscribe to my Instagram, please. Subscribe to my Instagram. Come over and join the family on Instagram because I would love you to. Next up, what I actually went in there for was an aux lead for my video that I've just done. Although I then had to go to Curry's afterwards and pick up a little adapter bit. But by the by, it's all done. Oh, I picked up these. Now I'm a sucker for super noodles. Like I, mm, super noodles are a bit of me. I love them. But I thought this one looked just, just a little bit more healthier. Oh, this is vegan. I don't think I've ever tried any vegan food before in my life. Well, I, I obviously have, but not like intentionally bought vegan food. But it says that they're oriental chicken flavour. So how does that make them vegan? I don't know. But anyway, I've seen this brand a lot, Blue Dragon. And I use them a lot for like Thai sauces and curry paste and all that. So I thought this might be a little bit healthier. How has that only got 100 calories in? That's not going to fill me up, is it? Per 100 grams. How many grams? And it's 65 grams. That's like 60 cal. That's not going to fill me up, is it? Uh, but I'm going to give those a go. In. I picked up a nice big pot of Options hot chocolate because this mm, is my favourite hot chocolate. I absolutely love this. I do have it with milk as well because... People who have hot chocolate with water, like, are you a serial killer? Like, I don't know how you do it. But yeah, that with some milk and then, just to make it even more sugary, look at me like, oh yeah, I'm on a health kick. I'm doing a challenge on Monday. Here she is with her hot chocolate and caramel syrup. Now, normally I'm a hazelnut kind of girl, as we know, but they didn't have hazelnut, so I went for this caramel one. Because I thought it's just sugar at the end of the day and I just want more sugar in it. So I thought that like a caramel hot chocolate might be quite nice. Mark might like it in his coffee as well. But yeah, I just thought I'd pick that up seeing as I can't get a hazelnut one at the minute. Might order a hazelnut one on Amazon because, oh God, it's just a bit of me. And then last of all, going back to the health kick side of things, I picked up, I've seen everybody go on about these, skinny sauces. It's the garlic and herb one and I thought... I'm going to go to Asda on Monday, do a bit of a healthier food shop for like my lunches and that. And I thought this over some chicken or over a salad might be quite nice. And it literally has one calorie in it per 10 milliliter serving. So it's literally like nothing. So I don't really know. I don't get how things like this actually still taste all right. Because it's just to me, it's like I'm not going to open it now or open it when I actually eat it. But to me, it's just like, I don't get how something with no calories can actually taste okay. Like, I feel like things have got to have at least 500 calories in them to taste all right. I know that's not real, but you know what I mean. So yeah, I'm excited to try that. But that's everything that I picked up from B&M. Quite fun, quite cool. It is again now, a few days later, but I thought I could just round up this weekly vlog by just telling you some really, really exciting news that I've got. So... I have decided to take the plunge, I've decided to take a big leap of faith because without risk you don't get reward in life and I have been like just holding back from this and basically I have got a YouTube video coming up, I can't remember when I scheduled it for, it's going to be either this weekend or I'm going to put it up next week but basically I've switched up my skincare routine now I've already touched on this over on my Instagram so you may have seen this already but yeah I have massively switched up my skincare routine and I've literally just done a video on like all my favorite products but I didn't realize I was going to fall in love with this product like at all 
I have had such negative connotations about this product and it's it's actually like quite sad when I came to think about it and once like the business was explained to me like in depth I did my own research I found everything out that I needed to know to know that I shouldn't have felt negative about something that I didn't even 100% know about I don't think that's fair like I was saying on my Instagram stories like you wouldn't ever judge a person on their appearance or you wouldn't ever judge a person due to something that somebody's told you about them like it's just not fair like I would hope that you wouldn't do that anyway and you would like make up your own mind after getting your own like opinions and everything together but yeah so I've got this video going up where I test highly sponsored highly promoted products that you can see on like Instagram that people are promoting like all the time and that's going up very very soon and I borrowed a Lumi Spa from one of my really really close friends from university and let's just say that I am shocked is like an understatement. I will put my results up on the screen for you. But basically these are four days apart. These are literally taken at the same place. They're taken right here in my bathroom at the same time of day just four days apart from each other and I cannot believe it. In that first one, like my dark circles are so prominent. My skin tone is like a lot more uneven and also it's just dull. It's so dull. And I actually thought that I had good skin there as well, which is what like baffles me. Like I feel like I've been very blessed and I'm very grateful for it that I haven't ever suffered with acne or like hormonal acne, any kind of acne, and I don't very often get spots or very many blemishes. But I just didn't realise how like lifeless my skin looked until I tried this Lumi Spa. And now it is showing that I've just got glowy, dewy skin even from when I wake up. So both these pictures were taken just as I'd like woken up and I hadn't even done my skincare routine in that after pictures. Like that was before I'd even done my skincare routine. So it's just madness, like I can't believe it. And yeah, what everybody says about them, it's just like, stop it. <laughs> but I don't wanna dwell on that too much. Like I am all about focusing on the positives, focusing on building a dream life for Mark and I, and that is what I'm here to do and hopefully help others do as well. So I thought, just to round off this video, I could show you my results for one, but also how I use the Lumi Spa because it's just something that needs to be shared to the world because I cannot deal with how incredible it is. And I never, ever thought I'd be saying this like never ever 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 <laughs> because I was pretty much like getting the Lumi's bar off of her to be like yeah it's a load of rubbish like they're just talking out of their bums basically but they are not <laughs> they are speaking the truth so yeah I thought we could just do my new and updated skincare routine together right my camera died which is great so if the lighting is a little bit different then that is why but I'm hoping that you can still see my skin all okay so this is a nice in that time as well someone else has picked up a Lumi and I'm so excited for them Ow, my hair is stuck because the amazing thing is is you see results straight away with this so it just makes me so happy um but yeah who likes my uh, new little headband I went to B&M again yesterday and picked up this headband and some new flannels as well because I thought I need some new flannels to keep my face clean after I've used my Lumi, otherwise that's not good. They were only $1.99 for two makeup remover cloths. Look how big they are. I'm sorry. That's massive. So absolutely banging for £1 each. But anyway, let's crack on to the fun bit. So, can't hear me, I feel kind of, but I'm just going to wet my face. I need to get my hands on the moisture mist because it just seems a lot, lot easier. Just literally spray a bit of moisture onto your face and then you're good to go. And then get my cleanser. So I just use the normal one, normal combo. And I um, get blemishes, but this cleanser has been absolutely perfect for me. So this is the activating cleanser that comes with the Lumi Spa. And then the magic begins. So if you do want me to do like an in detail video on like the Lumi Spa and new skin as like a business sort of like a big Q&A sort of video I reckon um I'd be well up for doing that because I don't think you see many of those sort of videos and people don't give it a chance it's um 
it's not good you need to get like give everything a chance in life and plus if you don't like try new things then how the hell are you ever gonna change oh that basically means move on to like the next section of your face so it splits you up into four sections so you've got your forehead two cheeks and then like your chin area but look at my cheek oscillate like look at this you see my cheek moving and the other side but it just feels so nice on your face i can't even do it is literally like a little at home facial and i was saying on my stories this morning like you're all gonna think i'm sad but i've actually been so excited to wake up in the morning and use this and also like on a night as well like this is a daily habit that I need in my life and I'm so happy that it is now. I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe it's taken me this long to find it and finally bite the bullet and get one because, well, you know how much I love skincare. Like I've always said about how I will always invest in my skin because it's something that I always, always want. I always want to look young. I never want to have any wrinkles. So why I haven't invested in this before, I don't know. But sometimes it's hard to just like trust a picture on Instagram, isn't it? Look at that. All that gross dirtiness. <clears throat> Dirty. I'm just using some water to get off the cleanser, by the way. But um, what I was saying is like, sometimes it's really, really difficult to trust somebody on Instagram, isn't it? And it's like, when I used to get messages about this, it'll be from like random people who I've never ever spoken to before. Like, they don't follow me, I don't follow them, I've never heard of them. And if I'm honest, I'm never ever gonna trust somebody like that. So I've always just been like, no, before, and just haven't wanted to do it, and never had like enough trust in somebody to like believe it is that good sort of thing. But for the fact that it was like one of my really, really good friends from university and I was like, you know what, I'm going to try it for this YouTube video. And the fact that when she gave it to me, well, when she let me borrow this one, because obviously I've got to give this back. It's just mind blowing, just mind blowing. It's incredible. So, yeah, I like obviously trusted her opinion like a lot, lot, lot more. And hopefully you guys trust me, which is why you watch me and follow me. So yeah, you know, I'm going to give you an honest opinion, as I always do with everything. Um, and then the next step is the toner. And just wipe that all over my face. I love it, especially at this time of year when my skin's normally like so dry and so just like not hydrated and disgusting because of the weather, because we're stuck inside. And now... I wake up glowing like wake up glowing but yeah like i say if you do want actually like in-depth information about this because i know i'm not actually telling you much about the product like at all at the minute then just let me know throw me a little dm on instagram and i will be more than happy to answer any of your questions that you have at all anything absolutely anything so this is the activating eye cream that i'm using and this is the only eye cream that i've ever ever found gonna use the viewfinder um that actually reduces my dark circles which you would have seen in my results picture and then last but not least a bit of the moisturizer but yeah so i'm just gonna rub this in and that's a job a good one and there we have it the Lumi Spa Glow. Would you believe that I was saying this? No, I don't believe myself either. But I put on my goals board, didn't I? I said in my January 2021 video that now is the time to make a difference. This year I want to try something new. I want to challenge myself this year. I want to do something different and just mix things up. And I also said that I wanted to take care of myself, my hair, my skin, everything. So this is what I'm doing. So this is goals being ticked off already we're only in february i love that cannot believe it i just can't get over the glow but yeah anyway i'm gonna go and round off the vlog here so i really really hope that you've enjoyed it i really hope that you've managed to get to the end <laughs> if you have then thank you thank you so much for watching make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already smash the like button and i shall see you in my next video bye Mwah.